The Stelvio Pass in the Italian Alps is said to be the greatest road in the world. In this episode of Car and Driver Abroad, we find out for sure in a Ferrari 458 Spider. fancy road on a piece of paper, the chances are it would look a bit like the Stelvio Pass. It zigs and zags up a mountain and when you get to the top you can see a ribbon of hairpins tumbling back to the foothills of the Alps. It's an incredible sight. Even better, it's in Italy and the Italians seem to understand that a road like this deserves to be enjoyed. Now what car would you draw next to that fancy road? Let me guess, low, red, mid-engined, noisy as hell. Yep, me too. Over the years, I reckon I've driven most of the great roads in Europe, but the Stelvio Pass, which some say is the best of them all, has always eluded me. Today, I'm putting that right in spectacular style in the Ferrari 458 Spider. Now, there are faster, more expensive, and even more exotic supercars than this but this car is really special. In fact, I reckon it's the best mid-engine supercar that Ferrari have made for many, many years. This car, this road, is the stuff that dreams are made of. Ferrari are the masters at pushing our buttons, making cars that seem to burst with charisma. It starts with those Scuderia shields, but everywhere you look, there are evocative details. The F1-style steering wheel controls, the yellow taco that reads to 10. And who wouldn't want a car with a button marked launch? Even the cruise control is labelled as a pit lane limiter. Carbon ceramic brakes are standard fit and you'll need them because the 4.5 litre V8 gives this spider monstrous performance for a so-called baby supercar. Movable aero winglets help lower drag and increase downforce at speed. This car's got it all. Even the folding roof is £55 lighter than the old fabric roof of the 430 Spider, and it takes just 14 seconds to lower. The basics are 562 horsepower at 9,000 RPM. Yes, I did say 9,000 RPM. The car weighs 3,152 pounds, which is about 110 more than the coupe does 198 miles an hour, 0 to 16 3.4 seconds. But the magic of this car can't be expressed in numbers, it's about how it makes you feel. Some of that is the extraordinary noise, but a lot of it is the way it seems to take any trace of talent you have and magnify it and tolerate your mistakes and take even an average driver and make them feel like a superhero. The Stelvio Pass, or SS38 to give it its official name, is the highest paved road in the Eastern Alps, climbing from Stelvio up to 9,088 feet at its peak and then plunging back down to Bormio. There are 48 of those famous hairpins on the eastern side of the pass, and then the road opens out and gets wider and faster. The Stelvio is only open from June to September due to severe weather, but legend has it that it's more than worth the wait. 
So what about the Stelvio Pass? Does it live up to its billing, the greatest driving road in the world? Well, in some respects it does. The scenery is spectacular and the hairpins are hilarious fun when you've got an early morning run, no traffic. But of course this place is a magnet to cyclists, to motorbikers, to car clubs. And so the truth is you can't drive the car as quickly with the freedom and the safety that you'd really like. But it's a road of two halves. This amazing hairpin scene looks great. But actually, once you've wiggled up this bit and got over the other side, it's much more fun, much more open, and you can really stretch the 458's legs. Does it match something like the Route Napoleon? For me, I don't think it does, but you need to drive this road once in your life. If you can do it in a Ferrari, even better. At this altitude, you can have all four seasons in a single day, but nobody cares, so you'll never have this place to yourself. Not that it matters really, the 458 ripped up and down, over and over, and the cyclists, bikers, the other drivers, everyone was all smiles. It's just that sort of place. So if you were to just jump in a 458, turn the key, hit this big red starter button on the steering wheel, you'd have a pretty spectacular time. But this is a Ferrari, which means there are loads of toys to play with. And in particular, this Manatino, which really alters the character of the car. Today, we can skip through wet and sport, put it straight into race. Now we've got maximum attack from the engine and gearbox. The CST is dialed back, so you can really enjoy the balance of this car and the exhaust, which is important, is set to deafen. So what about this 458 when you really get up it on a road like this? Well, it is incredible. It's got this amazing engine that seems to rev in a vacuum to 9,000 RPM, and the box fires in shifts so quickly. It almost feels like you haven't even touched the paddle and the gear's gone in. But what's more extraordinary is that the chassis is a perfect match to it. The engine doesn't dominate because this car is so fluid and so well balanced. In fact, this car gives you such confidence to use all of its performance that it feels like the most natural thing in the world to reach down to the Manatino, turn everything off, and let the 458 show you its other party trick. Because this is a mid-engine supercar that you can drive the wheels off. So much fun. Okay, let's try and be objective. What isn't to like about this car? Okay, well that incredibly quick steering does make it difficult to drive smoothly at low speeds. And the throttle response is very binary, on off, on off. It's quite tricky to really get over that. Apart from that, there's not much not to like. This car though, by losing its roof, has lost just a bit of the stability the suppleness, the control of the coupe, but we're talking fine degrees here. As roofless cars go, this is right out of the top drawer.
So we came to the Stelvio Pass looking for the greatest road in the world and we found a place teeming with life and teeming with enthusiasm. Some parts of this road are truly breathtaking and the Ferrari was the perfect car to bring here. I will never forget that noise. But the real lesson was that Italy rocks. You need to get yourself here. Get a plane ticket, do whatever you have to do, but just get here. You will not regret it. Oh, <laughs> my